Why are there... Were there supposed to be three? Oh, wait, wait. <gasps> Did you see that? Donald Trump, president of America. Ladies and gentlemen, our first custom battle suggestion comes in from Mr. Party Boy 67 This is China versus America. Interestingly enough, though, you're going to notice that most of the Chinese units are composed of the Asian faction, which is mostly Japanese-inspired, but you know what? Let's not worry about that. Let's see who wins. The United States of America or China? Now, Donald Trump is entering the battlefield with his twin machine guns. Oh, man. Oh, a watch is firing. Okay, so how's this? What's this? Oh, Donald Trump is currently suppressed. He's getting back up. He was just kidding. He was just kidding. He hasn't been hit by any high-powered weaponry yet. He's opening up with his guns. He's taking a couple shuriken to the body. They're only... <laughs> what? That samurai, oh my god. Donald Trump just got wrecked. One samurai master just walked right by him. Now these two guys, there wasn't double spawning, but he did stick his sword through the arms. Look at that. And then pat, 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 machine gun rounds to the stomach. This guy's sword is in front of him. I wonder if like a musket ball could hit it and it would act as like a defense. Ooh. That ballista bolt and that guy struck it at the same moment. What? I think he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Look at that. There's a cannon wheel on the hill. Okay. Well, we've got, what, one M16 guy who just went commando. He's he's, he's stuck on this rock. Oh, and he got ballistic. Dude, I think if he didn't get stuck on that rock, he probably could have won. Or, I mean, he would have killed a couple more guys at the very least. So, Mr. Party Boy. So, that was a red victory. We're going to run it one more time and then kind of get a feel for how he could balance this. Did you? Wait. That cannon. There was a crew member on it, and he just went into space. Oh! Oh, dude, if this thing was still firing, what hit it? Is that a remnant of a cannonball? It looks like a cannonball hit it. Look at this guy. <laughs> He's like a guillotine. That's awesome. He's stuck. Oh, my God. It's like one of those medieval, like, torture things. Like, you put the town miscreant there, you know? He's like, dude, the cannonmen are getting wrecked. Did you? Wow. There's some heavy shrapnel here. Those two cannon rounds just took out that entire flank. Oh my god. All four of those guys to one cannon round. So the Chinese have five cannons. Right now, we're seeing... Come on, Donald. Oh, Donald just got hit with a cannon round. He finally built one of his walls. All right, so his back got broken. I think what we need here... Now, I took out the Super Peasant and the Super Boxer because I think those units kind of... It's not really a battle much. It's like everybody fights, they die, and it's just the super guys duking it out, looking silly. All right, well, if I was to add, you know what? We're going to add Hillary Clinton, too. We're going to add her. We're going to put her on this flank. She's basically a ninja master. And we're going to have some boxers, because, you know, America, we got our boxers. Oh, we got a boxer in a tree. And maybe that'll help. Yeah, I think America's got a chance against the Chinese now. I wonder if any of these boxers are actually going to survive. Yeah, they should. They should. Wow, that whole middle area just gets silenced by the Hawacha, which allows Red to move up the field. Okay, so Donald's here. Donald, it's really going to depend. A lot of this is going to depend on you. You got a shuriken in your back, dude. You got to keep... Sh shoot this guy! He's right in front of you. He just built a wall. Dude, watch out! Oh my god, Donald, watch out. Oh! <gasps> He just, he's alive. Oh, 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 that guy got hit by a friendly cannonball. This is awesome. Okay, Donald, Donald, come on. Donald, you gotta do this for America. All right, you're delaying the samurai. Oh, I think you just got buried. Buried alive. Who's left? Hillary. <laughs> Look at all this shuriken. Oh my god, guys. We are getting wrecked by the Chinese. Well, let's go ahead and add some a unit that I normally don't. I'm gonna add catapults. I'm gonna add catapults. America didn't invent the catapult. And we're gonna put some archers on these hills. These hay bale hills. And you know what? Now we're gonna win. Now we are going to win this battle. Because these archers, look at that, they're already firing. Oh, if they hit if they hit these guys, do they knock them out? They haven't landed any of their shots. They actually distracted a Hawacha. Interestingly enough. Come on, archers. Oh, they're both dead. Oh, wow, that guy got a Hawacho rocket arrow to his dome. 
Okay, well, they distracted the Hawatches, so they did their part. Are you hitting this tree? You are. You're not very good. <laughs> okay, well, that is a problem. Hmm, ladies and gentlemen, I know you guys are thinking of some battle ideas, and I know you're putting them in the comment section, and I know that when you see a comment in an idea that you like, what? Oh, emails, emails, emails. Yes, we have it. <gasps> Blue is victorious. Yes. And I know when you see an idea you like, you are upvoting it. So, this one, the Chinese were victorious for quite a while. We're going to run this one one more time just to just kind of get a good feeling that America has been victorious. Okay, so here's the Hawacha turning to fire. So all these archers pretty much get wrecked right away. Well, not that one. Dude, these ninja, this ninja's got an arrow in his neck. Look at that. That's, oh, I love the arrows. Oh, oh, you missed. Archer, you're, come on, Archer. You had one job. Did you just, he's taking a nap. Well, ladies and gentlemen, so how's your Sunday going? What games are you all playing this weekend? I was playing some first person shooters for the other channel last night and I had a lot of fun doing it, man. I was playing this game called Day of Infamy. This game called Foxhole. Has anyone played Foxholes? Seems interesting. Oh yeah, we got America right here, dude. Samurai Masters getting musket ball, lost his sword, he's out. America wins. All right, guys, so this rather detailed suggestion, so make sure to pause it to see all of the good guys. Now, the blue guys are actually the bad guys, and the red guys are the good guys, so it's a little inverted, but I just started setting up. And then I was like, I was already done with the team, and I was like, dang it, how did I miss that? But this suggestion comes in from Mr. Bear Cobb 44 This is a ruby battle. The Battle of Beacon. Now we're supposed to add Neon Map. How do I miss this? I wanted it on this, I don't know. Wow. Well, guys, this is a huge battle. Like, look at how many super units are out here. We've got super peasants, super boxers, samurai masters, bearmen, ninja masters even. We got a chicken man man, we've got a dark peasant. What is on this guy's head? Oh, it's the, uh, Oh wow, it looked like it looked like that was like a special unit. You know what? We're just gonna start this. Bear Cop, this is like a huge battle. This should be epic. Now I'm expecting red to win, but blue does have a dark peasant, so let's see what happens. It all depends. Look at this. He's just absolutely wrecking the red army. He is getting hit by some stuff. Now would those be muskets or M16s? Where's the dark peasant? I just see his energy balls in front of me. His energy bowels. There is a chicken man though. All right, so let's let's go ahead and speed this up. Get it in real time. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, red just seems like they have the numbers. Look at this, the dark peasant. If he flies off the edge of the map, it will be game, set, match. And it looks like that might happen. Actually, oh my God. He's, he's getting slung around by like four, three to four super peasants. They're trying to fly around him and stuff. Dude, this dark peasant's getting wrecked. There's a, a, an enemy super boxer. He just killed everybody. Super peasants and all. Oh, the, the shield guy got body slammed. Is he still alive? He was still alive and then he flew off. Dude, we haven't seen a dark peasant in quite a while. This is what you call a massacre. Oh, wow. After all of that, all those units the dark peasant just is like indomitable. Are there units under here? Firing? Oh, it's a it's a projectile shield doing that. That's pretty funny. So the projectile shield's actually protecting him. So who's left alive? Or maybe that wait. Is the projectile shield red? Cause if so, yeah. There's just some red units all derping out down here. Where is the There he is. Oh he, he's gonna find these guys. Dude, that poor guy, <laughs> he's stuck in a tree! Look at it! That's awesome, I've never seen that before. How is this guy still alive? Oh, he just got slapped in the face. Do we have X's for eyes? Yeah, his body's been discarded. Dude, that guy just got personally slapped by a dark peasant. So, ooh, beam rifle. You gotta kill that if it's still alive. Beam rifle should be dead, wow. That battle lasted longer than I thought it would. Okay guys, well, that one's gonna be a one and done because there are so many epic bosses in that battle taking place. 
we're gonna move on. Ladies and gentlemen, this suggestion is brought to us by Paxel. This is the Conquistadors versus the Aztecs in honor of the new Aztec faction. Now, blue are the Aztecs, including some priests representing by chicken men, and then the Spanish. The Conquistadors are the red. Here is Hernan Cortez, and then we've got Montezuma himself. So this should be a pretty epic battle. Now, if blue wins, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move back the musket line. So let's go ahead and press play. And I want to get an aerial view right off the bat to kind of get a feel for what's going on. The barrel rollers were diseases. I thought that was a pretty nice touch. Now the Spanish have cavalry represented by the chariots. But it, oh, that ballista just took out three musketmen by shooting that guy in the neck. Yeah, right now it looks like Montezuma's forces, the blue guys, are definitely going to win. Like, I, I don't even think... Now, Hernan Cortez is doing the business out here. He's knocking people out. Boom, boom. One, two, the old one, two. Oh, he took a spear to the neck. <laughs> a catapulting chariot over there. Dude, he's still got just one spear to his neck. He's, like, using it as a weapon. Dude, that'd be funny if he, like, ducked his head. Dude, that catapult killed one of his own. All right, come on. Dude, oh, he's, he's not having a good time, man. Oh, and there's another super boxer. Oh. He actually got hit by a stone. Yeah, I think all said and done. Oh my god, he just... Yeah, that was brutal. That was brutal. Hernan Cortez. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move back the musket line. And then move up a ballista, because it killed a decent amount of friendly players. We're gonna put it over here. Now the muskets. Musket men. We're gonna put in a solid line here. Hopefully there's no double spawns. There's probably gonna be a few. Wow, there weren't any. Okay, that's nice. Okay, so the Hawatches have silenced that. These musket men killed their own ballista this time. The catapult rocks are coming in and indirectly... Wow, they're actually like threading the needle here. Oh, look at that stone. It has arrows on it. I love it. I love tabs. Things like that. Okay, so, oh, the super boxer's coming in and wrecking the musket line. That's the issue. Ooh, oh, did you see that? That was pretty cool. Fire! Ooh, you delayed the inevitable. Hernan Cortez is alive. Wow, this guy has an arrow in his head, and he's still operating this cannon. Well, he was. All right, yeah, not looking good for the Spanish once again. Yep, chicken, one of the priests. Yeah, look at this guy. Dude, this... Hernan Cortez is an absolute pincushion of arrows. Oh, man, that one just narrowly missed his head. Now he's gonna get in a fight. Look at that. His right leg is barely functional because he's got a spear sticking out of it. Would you Would you want to be that guy? Boom, boom, boom. Punch each other. Oh, no, it doesn't look good. I think Red's gonna get knocked out because he's already taken so much damage. Blue got... Blue got it, like, put on the ground. Oh! <gasps> What? How? How did that happen? Wait a minute. Hernan Cortez could do this. Oh, no. <laughs> he got a stone to the face. All right, guys. Well, that was pretty good. I'd say that was a pretty good battle. All right, guys. So this one comes in from Rocky Guana 1. He wants to see the last mission of Halo 3. Now, I did it again. I've been dyslexic today. So, the red are the good guys. We've got Master Chief Donald Trump is Master Chief dual wielding two SMGs. We've got the Arbiter with an energy sword here. We've got five energy pistols as the Sentinels and a beam rifle, which is Sergeant Johnson with the Spartan laser. And this, the blue faction, are the Flood. We've got Flood humans here as headbutters. We've got Flood elites as energy pistols. We've got some chicken men in the background as flood carriers because the chickens are the spores. I like that. We've got thieves as food stalkers, or flood stalkers, rather. Whoops. 20 attack one one as flood tanks. Look at this. This crucial battle right here is going to dictate. Oh, no. These headbutters got through. I think, I think instead of energy pistols, they need to be musket men. So if red loses, which I think they will. I really do. I think they're gonna lose. Then, oh, the B, actually Sergeant Johnson back there. Oh, Sergeant, Matt, oh my God. This is, this is good, this is good. 
Dude, Master Chief just built a wall, blocked him up. Yeah, actually. So if, if red wins kind of too easily. Oh my god. Blue victory? What? I thought for sure they won. I'm going to make them musketmen because musketmen can actually stop the enemy. So let's see how this works. Musketmen should hit and knock out headbutters. Oh, that, that was good, but there wasn't enough. <laughs> Okay. Are, are any of these musketmen? Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, wow. I don't know how Master Chief is alive, but he is. He, he took a headbutter. Come on, Master Chief. You're gonna have to do... Oh! Master Chief just got eaten by a spore. Okay, Donald Trump is gonna get multiple chickens to the face. Will it take him out of action? Oh! <gasps> He got sniped by the Guilty Spark. He got killed by Guilty Spark because the Musketman is Guilty Spark. Wow. That one went down to the wire. Maybe if I put... Yeah, I got it. We got to reposition these guys, okay? And that is how we do it. All right, we're going to put him in there. And then we're going to put Donald Trump right behind him. This is going to be a dynamic duo of destruction. So everyone's going to aggro. Not everyone, but hopefully enough. He's going to kill them all. Come on, Muskman. Oh, come on. These Marines. They're not Marines. They're Sentinels, but we want them to get tactical. This guy's actually alive right now. Oh, please. Oh, the, the Sergeant Johnson. No. That was, that was devastating. I don't think Red's going to be able to recover from that. If this guy can keep deflecting these chickens. Nope, he's dead. And he's getting lasered. Donald, Donald Trump, a.k.a. Master Chief, is going to go down. Even though he can dual wield. Wow. Dude, guilty spark. Look, he got he almost like got knocked unconscious for a little bit. Come on. Shoot the chicken man. Why are there th Were there supposed to be three? Oh wait, wait. Oh, did you see that? Guys. Guys. That was chickens that were buried in the bodies. Let's see if we can't recreate that. The chickens were buried in the bodies. And when he approached, they all lurched forth and killed him. That has to be one of the most surprising things I've seen in tabs in a while. Oh my god, he couldn't protect the sniper. Yeah, this is not good. So, let's see, the chickens are pushing forth, man. The flood. Dude, I don't, I don't think he's going to be able to deal with this. Even though he's dueling. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The Arbiter's still... Well, yeah, but he's dead. Look at that. See? They come out of the bodies. That's so cool. We're going to end it there. Anyway, guys, I hope you are having a fantastic Sunday. Leave a suggestion in the comments below for the battles, the ideas, the challenges that you'd like to see in the next video. When you see one you like, upvote it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.